Bryony, thanks for sitting down to give us a bit of an update. How's pre-season been so far? Yeah, it's nice to be back after a few weeks off. Um, everyone's come back really strong, um, better than the fitness team, medical team expected, which is very, very good on, on our half. The lads are really enjoying it. Uh, we obviously went to Portugal for a week. That was really good. The lads managed to do 10 sessions in about five days with one game, managed to win the game. They all come back, they're all really happy with how they've progressed. Um, as we can see, pre-season games are going, going rather well. The squad's developing really well. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes into start next week. You had a few injuries going out into Portugal, probably another couple picked up out there, I think. Just talk us through the individual players that you've been working with the last few weeks and how they're getting on. Yeah, so uh, we had a few lads that gathered injuries before we left for Portugal, which was um, a bit unlucky for them. Uh, we had uh, Ansu, who did the Avery game and picked up an injury the last second of the, of the whistle, which is unfortunate. His was a, um, a knee injury, it was a very minor one after his scan he had. Um, he's doing really well at the minute, uh, progressing. He should be back just at the start of the season after he's done all his fitness testing. Um, there's also um, Johan Zuma, very unlucky to have picked up um, pneumothorax before we left, which is um, a punctured lung basically. He had a little bit of an issue with a lung. He's managed to be seen by Queen's Hospital and he's now recovering really well. Should be back in training, start to run on Thursday. We should see him back soon as uh, maybe start the season as well. Harry Phipps, um, he gained a really unlucky another you know, hamstring injury to the one he had previous towards the end of the season. Um, very similar situation we've had to go through. We've got we've gone a little bit more steady with this one this time, just so we can prepare him more, get him ready for the season, so that hopefully he won't pick up another injury. He's had scans, he's had a lot of treatment, and he's doing really well, progressing nicely. He's got his last bit, little bit of treatment this Friday, and hopefully he will be able to start a mini pre-season to get him fit again. Um, George doing really, really well. Um, he's got his last scan for his leg next week. Um, this should be the final, final little bit we have. Hopefully there's a little bit of an um, issue with one of the screws he has in his, his leg down towards his ankle, not a huge one. Uh, we're going to see if we can get that seen to and get that sorted. Once that's seen to, fans should be able to see him back on the pitch a lot more quicker. And then the big one we had in Portugal was unfortunately Angelo. Um, training middle of the week, he jarred his knee back very, very badly. Um, he was on crutches straight away. We couldn't really do anything while we were out there, but we got a scan when he was back, um, which picked up a very bad meniscus tear, which is the cartilage in between your wall and your knee joint. He, uh, very s unlucky, he's had to have an operation, had that yesterday. Um, surgeon did an amazing job um, repairing it and has managed to get him back so he can start his rehab on Thursday. He looks like he's going to be out for a good few months, so hopefully with a lot of treatment and a lot of care by the hospital and the clinics and myself and the medical team, we could possibly see Anne's just before Christmas, um, if, if everything goes well with the complications.